have astronomers unwittingly photographed the structure of the Birkeland current around Sagittarius A at the centre of our Milky Way. Now Sagittarius A is back in the news. We recently reported on the strange movement of a globular dust cloud moving around Sagittarius A and not behaving as scientists had expected. Now a separate team have discovered that the supposed black hole is surrounded by a vast cool gas disk. Now digging a little deeper into this story, the team used the ALMA telescope to detect hydrogen emissions from a giant gas cloud surrounding Sagittarius A. Now in order for them to detect this emission, it means that the hydrogen is being excited to cause this emission. And this means that it is highly likely that ionization is occurring within this cloud, and therefore it is behaving like plasma. As we have previously discussed, very little ionization needs to occur for this to become conductive. Now this cloud is huge. It is about 25 times the diameter of our own solar system. Now we already know that at the center of Sagittarius A, there is a small accretion disk. Well, I say small, it's still significantly large, but compared to this one, it is much, much smaller. But the one around the center is much, much hotter than this outer gas cloud. Where the cool gas cloud is around 10,000 degrees Celsius, the inner one is about 10 million degrees Celsius. At the moment, scientists do not understand how these two gas clouds interact and how one potentially might feed the other. But they have managed to track the motion of this cold gas cloud using its redshift. Now, if you look at the diagram, you'll see blue and red blobs. And in the diagram, the blue represents plasma that is moving towards us and the red represents plasma that is moving away from us. And for me, there are a number of things that are quite striking about this image. The first is if we look around the edge, so not the center of the image, but if we look around the edge of the image, you'll start to see pairs of colors, red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, paired together. And this to me implies that there must be a motion. There must be toroidal structures that are being set up in the outer region. And again, it's interesting that there is a sort of shape. Again, the outer edge, if we were to look at that, is toroidal shape as well. So it's almost like a structure within a structure within a structure. The second thing that I, I mean, and I think is probably more fundamental is if we look at the center part of the image, we see an L-shaped. Uh, the red in particular has an L-shaped. Now, from the image, we know that the red obviously means that it is moving away from us. Now, there could be two ways to look at that. So the first is that the, uh, the gas cloud sits between us and Sagittarius A, uh, that L structure, and it is moving towards Sagittarius A. So between us and it is moving towards it. And the other way could be that it sits behind Sagittarius A and is moving away from Sagittarius A. And the reason that becomes important is to understand the direction of the movement of the plasma. So the question is, is the plasma, there? I guess there are two options, is the plasma moving towards the, the toroidal structure or is it moving away from? Both are possible. Now, in either case, so whether it is moving towards or it's moving away, it implies a Birkeland current, it implies, and this is a huge, a massive movement of ionized material, of the plasma. And we know that the structure at the center is probably a plasmoid, and that obviously needs to be fed. There needs to be a movement of current into that. So is this image showing us the movement of the plasma, the movement of the current, on a, on a galactic scale moving into the center of Sagittarius A. For me, the other question would be is how does this structure that we see in terms of the, the, the hydrogen, the plasma, uh, particularly the fact that we have these pairings, 
how does that fit in with the galactic plane? Because obviously we know that there is a galactic plane that rotates around the center of the galaxy and moves out right to the outer arms. And we know that that is not a flat structure. Recent papers have indeed uh, provided evidence to suggest that it has a wave motion, as we've discussed in previous videos. Now, again, I I'm not sure about this, but uh, is that um, pairing that we see around the outer edge, is that what generates that wave pattern? I'm not sure. It's really pure speculation at this stage. The more that we look, the more that we find plasma. And the more that we find plasma, the more that we find structures which plasmas create. Toroidal, plasmoids. So the evidence is starting to build that shows that the plasma universe, the electric universe, is real. It is out there, waiting for us to discover it. As always, be brave, be curious. The truth is waiting for us. Until next time.